Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. Today I will be discussing the zero latency trick for the Behringer's Q502 USB mixer, a trick that I have explained previously and if you haven't watched uh, that video you can just click here and that will take you there and you can come back. So in this video, I will actually demonstrate to you how the audio routing of the Behringer's Q502 mixer works. That way you have a better understanding of what is hap happening behind the scenes. So without any further ado, let's get onto the screen and I'll explain all about it. Here is a typical audio recording setup, whether a microphone or a musical instrument. The audio is directed to the headphone as well as to the laptop or the PC via the USB connection where the mixer has built-in internal analog to digital conversion. With the routing position as shown, with both two phones and two main mix in up position, the audio from the microphone is directly sent to the headphone as well as to the laptop or the PC via the USB connection. This gives zero latency audio from the microphone to the headphone. If you want to be able to hear anything played on the laptop or the PC via the USB connection, we need to adjust the routing settings with the two phones pressed down and two main mix pressed up. This directs any audio via the USB to the headphones. At the same time, it cuts off any audio from the mixer. With the same routing position, while we can hear any audio from the laptop or the PC via the USB, any audio to the microphone is also directly sent to the USB and we are able to record that new track, though we are not able to hear any of the audio from the microphone. With the routing position of two phones in up and to main mix down position, we are now able to hear both the audio coming from the laptop or the PC via the USB as well as the audio from the microphone directly to the headphones. Though we are able to hear both audio signals onto our headphones with no delay, this creates a new problem. The audio being sent to the laptop via the USB connection not only includes the audio from the microphone, but at the same time it also includes, mixed together, the same audio that's being played back from the laptop. So track number two being recorded is a combined signal. This may not be what is desired. It's sort of like an overdubbing effect, where track one being played back is combined with the new audio from the microphone and recorded into track 2. With the routing position set to two phones down and to main mix up, this cuts off again any audio from the microphone of the mixer to the headphones. But if we enable the track 2 listen mode on, that means any audio coming in is routed back to the mixer via the USB, we are now able to hear what is being played back as track one. We are able to record the microphone and only the microphone into track two. And coming back from the laptop is track one, as well as the new track two to the headphones. But this creates another problem. The processing of the audio from the microphone into the mixer and to analog to digital conversion and sent to the PC or the laptop via the USB, being recorded and then played back and then sent back again to the mixer via the USB into our headphones creates a process delay, which is the latency. So while we are listening to the headphones, anything that we record from the microphone 
will have a slight delay, and this can be confusing. To overcome the latency, with the routing option, same as before, with the two phones down position and to main mix at up position, we can connect the RCA loop lead on the RCA connections on the mixer itself. This routes the audio from the mix and combines it with the audio from the USB. We have to make sure that we never press down to main mix button because this will create a loopback which may damage the mixer. With the RCA loop lead connected and the listen mode turned off on the laptop in your DAW, here's what happens. The audio from the microphone can be heard on the headphones directly with no latency. At the same time, the microphone audio itself is also sent to the laptop or the PC via the USB which is recorded as track 2 and as track 1 being played back on the laptop or the PC is sent back to the mixer via the USB which is combined and sent to the headphones. So we can hear both track 1 playback and our direct microphone audio onto our headphones while we are recording just the microphone as track 2 in our DAW. And once we have completed all of our multiple track recording, we can connect our speakers or our headphones and enjoy our musical creation. Well, I hope that explained it. Now you know in detail how the audio routing works and what all the different buttons of the audio routing switches do and why we would need those RCA connections to actually get our zero latency. So if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. I love getting the thumbs up. That way I know it was helpful for you. And if you have any comments in anything else in regards to this video, feel free to comment below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you are kept up to date with any new video that I upload, any new information on audio recording and everything else as such. Feel free to also visit my website recordingstudio9.com because there's a lot more information there, also blogs and articles that I write which is not on YouTube, so um, I hope I'll see you there as well. And until then, I hope you make lots of great music and enjoy. Cheerio, bye bye. <laughs>